by q where p and q are the integers and q is not equal to 0. So they have to express the given parts in the form of p by q. That means the first part is 0 0.6 so we have to express the 0 0.6 upon bar in p by q form. So we are going to start with the part 1. 0 0.6 and this bar will be 6. That means 0 0.666 bar means this number is getting repeated. Now, to start it, x is equal to 0 0.666 and so on. Now, there is bar on the one digit, then we are going to multiply by 10. If there is bar on the two digit, we are going to multiply by 100. And if there is bar on the three digit, we are going to multiply by 1000. So in this question, there is bar on the one digit. So we are going to multiply by 10. So multiply by 10. Both sides. x multiply by 10 and here 0 0.666 multiply by 10. So it is 10x is equal to if you are multiply by 10, if you are multiplying by 10 then the decimal will go from left to right. The decimal will shift one digit from left to right. So the number is 6. 666 six, six, and so on. Now, this was the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2. Now, subtracting equation number 1 from equation number 2. So, we have to write it. Nx equal to 6.666 and so on and the equation number 1 is x is equal to 0 0.666 and so on. Now we are going to subtract it. Lx minus 1x is equal to 9x is equal to 6. We are going to start it with this one. 6 minus 6, 0, 0, 0 and 6 minus 0 is equal to 6. So the solution of the subtraction is 9x is equal to 6.0 or we can say 6. Now 9x is equal to 6. Now x is equal to 6 by 9. Now we are going to simplify it. 3 to the 6, 3 to the 9. So x is equal to 2 by 3. So the value 0 0.6 upon bar in p by q form is x is equal to 2 by 3. So this is the solution of the part 1, 0 0.6 bar. For a second, 0 0.47 and there is bar of the 7. The bar is of the 1 digit. So we are going to multiply by 10. So start with x is equal to 0 0.47 bar of the 7. 0 0.47777 and so on. Now, Multiply by 10 both sides. So 10 multiplied by x and 10 multiplied by 0 0.4777 and 7 and so on. 10 multiplied by x is equal to 10x is equal to 10 multiplied by 0 0.4777. So we are going to shift the decimal. We are multiplying by 10, so we will shift the decimal from left to right by 1 digit because there is 1 0. If there is 2 0, then we are going to shift it to the 2 digits. So the value is 4.7777 and so on. Now, this is the equation number 2 and this is the equation number 1. Now subtracting. Equation number 1 from equation number 2. 
my question number two is 10x is equal to 4.7777 and so on. And equation number one is x is equal to 0 0.4777 and so on. Now we have to subtract 10x minus x is equal to 9x. Now 7, 0, 0, 0, 7 minus 3, is, uh, 7 minus 4 is equal to 3, point 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. So the value is 9x is equal to 4.3. Now 9x is equal to 4.3. Now we are going to remove the decimal. So 9x is equal to 43 by 10. Now 9 is getting multiplied by the x and here it is going to divide 43 by 10 multiplied by 9. x is equal to 43 by 9. So this is the e by q form of the 0 0.47 part of the cell. This is the solution of the part 2 question number. Part 3 0 0.001 bar on the 001 or uh, bar on the all three digits. Now, if there is bar on the three digits, we are going to multiply it by 1000. So, start with x is equal to 0 0.001. This is the bar. Now, x is equal to 0 0.001001 and so on. Now, Multiply by thousand on both sides. One thousand multiply by x. One thousand multiply by zero point zero zero one zero zero one and so. Now this is one thousand x. And those three zeros, so the decimal will shift to three digits from left to right. So it is, it is zero, 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 one point zero zero one. Zero before any number does not make any value, so it is one point zero zero one. This is the equation number two. This is the equation number one. Now, subtracting equation number one from equation number two. Now, the equation number two is this one. 1000x is equal to 1.001. And the equation number one is x is equal to 0 0.001, 0 0.001 and so on. So we keep this one also the same. Now we are going to subtract it. 1000x minus x is equal to 999x and the same one 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. So 999x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 upon Good.